on, y'all? It's your boy, J.H. Gibbons here. Well, we'll see. And welcome to yet another episode of your Chromas Podcast, episode 48. That means that we've been on this for 48 straight weeks. You can find us on Instagram. You can find us on Spotify. You can find us on Facebook. You can find us on TikTok. And I know most of all, you can find us on YouTube. I'm sure that's where you're watching. If you are watching on YouTube, you hit that subscribe button. You hit that like button. And you hit that notification bell. And every single time you come on YouTube to look for an Acromus podcast video, it will be the first one on your feed. And most of all, it is free to do so. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. As we always tell you every single time, it's not as many things free in this country as no, but this is something that's free to you. So please make sure to do all those things. Subscribe, smash that like button, and make sure you turn your notifications so that you will be the first one to get our content. And also, you can spread and share it to someone else that you want to drop some of those gems on. Absolutely. And as you said, there aren't many things free, um, especially with inflation rising. I, mm-hmm. I'm surprised we're not charging this. But these are free gems for you to take. As I always ask every single week, what a week it has been. It has been a crazy week. How, week, how crazy has your week been? Everything's a blur. Yeah. It's been a blur. This month has been a blur, but uh, I'm sure it's the same for everyone else. So you get no complaints. Just the grind is always 1% better every day, every single day. And look, holiday season's around the corner a lot. I know a lot of people are going to be hitting the mall this weekend. I know right now it's Sunday. I know I've, I've done a lot of Christmas shopping. I know that because I've seen my credit card statement. <laughs> so it's, it's been, it's been, a, it's been a big one. You know, we're getting, we're getting ready to hit the end of the year. We're getting a lot closer to the 21.3 method, the launch of the 21.3 method. January 1st, 2022, you're only a couple of weeks away from that, guys. We are excited to get that out there for you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's been a long journey, uh, just a huge, huge milestone, you know, for many stepping stones built along the way. Uh, So when it drops, we hope that you enjoy what you're going to get to read and the gems that's going to be shared with you. Uh, and help set the course for you to be able to take those stones as well and to just place them ahead of you and be ready to grow and develop, you know, adjust, adapt, evolve your life. Absolutely. And, and last week, I know we went over, should people 10X their goals? And look, I, I took the advice from the podcast as, as we always do, as should you as well. And, um, you know, I, I, I decided I was going to go forth into this, you know, especially with Acromis, with everything we're doing, knowing that a new year is coming, knowing that there's so much more growth that we are, we still have to do, even though we've grown to get to this point, that there, there's nowhere to go but up. Um, and I'm excited. I'm really excited to see where this goes. I'm excited to see how much Acromis will grow. Um, I'm excited to see what the future holds for our community for what we're doing, for the for the the amount of things that we're putting out there, especially going into next year, I'm excited for what the future holds. Oh, absolutely! Yeah, 2021 was a phenomenal year uh, in general uh, with the growth the growth of the promise in the community, and uh, it, it has expanded. And we're really looking forward to 2022 and where we're headed with everything. Uh, you know, from us ramping into what we've been given to you with the gyms of the content, us looking to venture more depth into fitness uh, to really kind of bring that home, especially once you had an opportunity to, to read through the 21.3 method. Uh, I think it's going to really be helpful uh, and integral and a part of your journey as it was mm-hmm. for mine and is for mine and for Jay's. Uh, so and everyone that's already a part of the movement and that's been a part of the community, uh, especially new newcomers, uh, we really want to make sure that you have an opportunity to get caught up on things, kind of see where we are, where we're headed, and uh, it's going to be a great year. It's going to be very exciting. And, and look, I mean, this one year, as we talked about, was all about growth, you know, from, from, the, from the birth of our website to the gear, to the logo, to these lights, all of this, all of this was made possible by growth. And of course, along with growth, we, 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 we don't always just grow with ourselves not with our community, but we wanted to understand how we can expand to people who may not be able to listen to us or hear us on the mediums that we have to offer. Mm -hmm. So this great opportunity came earlier this summer by the host and the owner of the WRNG FM Power Jams Hot radio station. And so this opportunity presented an opportunity for both his radio station to grow, for our community to grow, for us to be on this radio station every single week, to get these gems out to people who do want to hear it. And we've been, we've been so very thankful for that opportunity 
each and every week. And now at episode 48, we want to be able to get the host of the WRNG FM Power Jams Hot Radio on the Acromas podcast. We know that he's a very, very busy man. We know that he has been doing this for so many years. I've known him for 31 years in my personal life. And so, Acromas community, we want to introduce you none other than Mr. Robin Gibbons, a.k.a. DJ Bob the Wiz. Hey. Gentlemen, gentlemen, good evening. A very, a very beautiful Sunday afternoon to y'all, man. I'm getting tongue twisted. Uh, <laughs> just, just being on the Acromonas, Acromas podcast, rather. Um, I, I, I mean, I'm always excited every Monday when I run your program from 11 a.m. until 12 Central Time, 12 until 1 Eastern. Look, the response has been phenomenal. I get a lot of people keep saying, as a matter of fact, you know, your aunt, Sandra Lipinski out there in Wisconsin is curious as to when it's going to start back because she wants to, uh, to listen to you gentlemen. You know, y'all bring fresh ideas. Y'all bring thoughts. You know, you give people a process to work through. So she, um, along with thousands of people, I'm pretty sure, you know, WRNG FM Power Jams Hot Radio is heard worldwide, you know, so I'm pretty sure y'all have millions of listeners, if I could use that that term, that, that listen to the Acromas podcast. So yes, I'm glad to be part of, uh, of promoting your, your program on WRNG FM and we'll continue to do so until eternity. Amen to you. <laughs> It is, yeah, it is an absolute pleasure to have you on. And in case a Chromis community, you don't know, this is also my father, um, which is why he mentioned my aunt. And it is it is amazing to understand that we are able to affect so many lives because sometimes we don't get to hear it. Right. You know, we're, we're always in the, the rat race of life here. We still have our nine to five jobs. So there's sometimes we may not understand the type of impact that we have for other people. So for you to share that with your listeners, your, your hundreds of thousands, if not millions of listeners that you have that are that are always tuning in every Monday, we are very appreciative of that opportunity and, and that space that we have there in order for us to get our voice out a little bit more. So once again, we thank you for, for you taking the time out to come on the Acromas podcast this evening. And and when we when we when we first started getting into the Acromas podcast, we knew that there were some risks that we had to take. Oh yeah. We knew that there were a lot of things that we had to get into. We knew that there were a lot of there are going to be a lot of uneasy moments, a lot of tough conversations, a lot of different things to deal with. And I can only assume as an entrepreneur as yourself, someone who hosts the radio station and has been a DJ for decades, I can only understand that you having to get started in that same type of space took a lot of guts. It took, it took a lot of long, long nights. It took a lot of sleepless nights and it took a lot of sacrifices. So I wanted to turn it over to you to tell us how exactly did you get started? In the I'm glad you asked. I'm glad you asked. Yeah, um, <laughs> <laughs> for those, look, let, let your fans pull up a chair. This is going to take a minute. All you right. Come from here, oh, something yeah. To drink yeah. And, uh, let's yeah. Let, let them pull up a chair. I'm going to tell you because I, when I migrated to this country uh, from Guyana into, in 1969, the first thing I did, like the first week, I turned my TV on. And there it is, Columbia School of Broadcasting. And I, get, I, I keep getting chills, you know, because I said, doggone it, I, you know, I, I got to get onto this, I got to get, uh, get, get into this school, Columbia School of Broadcasting. But it was in Chevy Chase, Maryland at that time. And Lord knows I had no transportation. So for me to get from my house at 2901 16th Street, Northwest Washington, DC, to go in Chevy Chase, Maryland, three nights a week to go to school, I had to ride the bus. Now, I don't know east from west, north from south in the direction where this bus is going, but I say it says number 40, or whatever the number was at that time, and it says Rockville, Maryland, or Chevy Chase, Maryland. I said, I'm jumping on that bus. My late mother said, your grandmother said, boy, you just come to this country. You don't know where you're going. It's nighttime. This country, people get kidnapped. I might not see you. You might not come back. I said, mom, look, that's a risk I got to take. 
You know, I'm fascinated mm -hmm. by this radio station and I'm going. You know, I mean, I'm fascinated by this school rather, so I'm going. So I went to the school and I met two gentlemen who at that time were radio broadcasters themselves, Johnny Halliday and another guy by the name of Lashley. His first name escapes me right now. So they taught me a couple of things in the first week. The old model turntables you had to use. It had something like a, like a gear shift. So for 33, you push it forward, pull it back to go to 45, go to 78. I'm talking about the records you put on sure. to play at that time. Right. So I went there for about two weeks. And you know, I was DJing at this club, Guyanese club called the Kaichura. Mm -hmm. And uh, this girl came up to me and said, look, I'm having a party this Saturday night. I like how you play music. Can you DJ for my party? So I said, okay, it was up there by Capitol Hill. She lived in that Capitol Hill neighborhood. So I said, gee whiz, I said, nothing can go wrong. I'm going up in Capitol Hill. You know, I'm safe. So jump in my car, put my speakers, and I head up to Capitol Hill to the party. And lo and behold, I'm on the mic congratulating her, happy birthday, yada, 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 nice knowing you, so, so, so. And lo and behold, this guy walked up to me. Guy stands about 5'4", black guy. Well, well, let me pull the part back because I've taken away the joke. Well, he walked up to me and he said, man, you got that radio voice. He said, my name is Tom Jones. I said, man, get out of here. Tom Jones ain't black. Yeah, you know, we're yeah. talking about So he said, he said, yeah, I didn't say that to him, but I was saying to myself. He said, well, I'm the program director at WOOK Washington. That was a radio station back in the 70s. He said, you got that radio voice. Come to the station, man. We got seven, we have Saturday classes, you know, for up and coming radio announcers and DJs. So I said, bet, I'll be there. But before that, I told him, I said, well, look, I'm going to Columbia School of Broadcasting, man. And I said, this is my second week. He said, man, you don't need to go to those white guys' station, those white guys' school. <laughs> he said, come on to WOK. There's a lot of brothers there. Thank you very much. And I had to pay. Man, he had to say nothing else. I went down to WOK on the Saturday classes. You know, your sister was a little a little baby. She, well, she probably was like three years old, two, three years old at the time, or a year old. And I, I said, look, I'm gonna get involved with this. And I went every Saturday from like about 10 until one. We had access to the, one of the studios. We could record our voices. We could do a, like a fake program. You know, they, they taught us how to re erase jingles. You know, they had like a little square box. We put a jingle on top of it and you mash. They had a pedal. So you mash that pedal and you erase the jingle that was on there. You put in your own and so on. You know, jingles at that time looked like eight track tapes. And they had like a carousel with about two or 300 of those jingles. And, and how you know when a jingle is going to end, they had like the last paragraph or the last, the last three or four words on there. Like, the Acrobat's podcast with Jamal Gibbons, JC, with Jamal Gibbons, and we'll see. And you know, as soon as they said, we'll see, you better be hitting another card. You better hit another jingle. Because no dead air on the radio. Right, so right, I, right. I, I, so I, I became, it, it was like the back of my hand. You know, I, 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 be, I got to know it like the back of my hand. Everything came like natural. You know what I mean? So I said, well, it, well it, it, it came like second nature, okay. right? So to be on air at that time back in the 70s, you have to have had a, a FCC license. And I did not have an FCC license. Mm -hmm. So the guy said, what we can do, once a slot opens up, we're going to put you on air and it's going to be like overnight. You don't have to say anything. We can play jingles and we can play slow jams. That was a slow jam program on Friday nights and Saturday nights. And look, they had a guy named H.B. Bailey. He was one of the best. He was the Danny Simpson on WOK. Oh, he was wow. one of the best. Yes, he was I'm one sorry. of the best. H.B. Yeah. Bailey, that name stuck with me because I wanted to emulate the brother. You know, I wanted to emulate him. He left and he went to California. He had a job open up another radio station in LA and, and he, he, he went to LA. So the guy, there was a guy that took his slot and then there was a guy that took the guys out of the slot. So now that created a slot for overnight because the overnight job came and took the, the second guy 
Chuck Long was his name that took HBB Lee Slap. You got it? Mm -hmm. So I got promoted into the station by doing that. I got promoted into the station by doing the overnight. And I did it for like a year, year and a half, but the station started going down and they had some white guys that bought it over and they call it Oldies 100. I don't know if that name sounds familiar to you. Yes, it yes. is. Oldies 100, these white guys yeah, bought it, yeah. that's what they call it. So after that, I kind of went and worked in the, in the private life, private sector, and then the job that I had at that time, the people went on strike and I said, look, I had enough of this nonsense. I went into the military for 13 years, the army and the rest is history. And I continued DJing. I took all of my equipment to Germany and I DJed at clubs, DJ private parties. And then I came back. And when I came back from Germany, the guys at the kite show was like, they saw Jesus. Hey, Bob, you're back. Come on back, man. We, we kept your slot open for you, you know. So and at that time, at that time, check this out. I'm going to school. I'm going to I'm going at that time I went to a school called PSI in Silver Spring by the subway station. I used to run out to school to catch the last bus going down Georgia Avenue that's gonna pass the kite tour. So I run out to school. School used to open like 10 o'clock. So I'm running out today like 9.50, 9.30. I said, what else they can teach in 30 minutes? So I spring, I, I ran out to school, jumped on the bus, man, head on down to the kite tour. And I got it for 10 o'clock to start playing. Now when I got that playing from 10 to two, and then you gotta believe it that I have to study for exams and all this kind, it was rough, you know? So sometimes I had to play Friday and Saturday night. So Sunday, I was watching football with one eye and studying with the other eye, looking at my books with the other eye. So, and that's how it was. So I was still in the military that time, you know? So just imagine, I leave, I leave work at 4.30. I go to school for six. School is from six to 10, from 10 to two, Kai Chor. So it was rough. My goodness. All right. So that's how that was. And then after that, after I got my diploma from PSI, I went to Strayer. And I went to Strayer for four years. I got a bachelor in computer information systems. You know, when I was in Germany, I tried to I tried to take some classes when I was in Germany. And it was difficult. It was a lot, a lot of racism was going on, man. And um, mm. it really, truly. And at that time, they had a movie came out called Mississippi Burning. I remember that movie. Yes. Very familiar with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mississippi Burning with Popeye Doyle, the guy they call Popeye Doyle, French Connection. I can't mm -hmm. remember his name, the actor. Um, gee whiz, his name escapes me right now. Uh, Gene Hackman. Oh, Gene yeah. Hackman. Gene Hackman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gene Hackman, Gene Hackman uh, was in that movie. And let me tell you, it caused an uproar on base. You know, it, 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 that movie, compiled with what was going on otherwise, it caused a lot of friction, you know? Mm. So yeah, amongst the whites and the blacks and this and that. So, so anyway, even at that time, there, there, was, there was still a lot of tension boiling over because I, I mean, this is, this is beyond, you know, the 60s, 70s and sort of things. So oh yeah. It was, still, it was still that bad back down there. And, and yeah, this was like 76, 77. Mm. And I'm mm. telling you about, right? Yeah. You know, so. It was chilling. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, I got sick and I had to be medevac back to the States and things like that. Your grandmother came over and so forth. But to me, going back to the broadcast inside of things, I always like radio because I tried to change my MOS. MOS means military occupational skill, the job that I was doing in the military. I was administration and I was trying to change it to get into radio there. And my, the people, my NCOIC, me, my non commissioned officers, they wouldn't release me to go to the radio station because they're saying, look, we got a shortage in your MOS, so we can't let you go. So I had to batten down the hatch and continue. I was doing 12 hour shifts. Wow. I worked 12 hour shifts from 7 to 7, 7 p.m. to 7 a.m., you know, in an admissions office. Sometimes working alone. Sometimes I sit down there, my door is open. Next thing I know, somebody's standing in front of me. Now, if I had a bad heart at that time, I would have died because I ain't expect to open my eyes. I see somebody standing in front of me waiting to get admitted, but that's what happened. I fell asleep. Mm. So, you know, 
I mean, because 12 hours, man, and then you got you to gotta prepare an AMD report, mean an admission and disposition report and all that stuff, you know, yeah. for the next mm -hmm. day. And then you're working at the admissions at the same time. But anyway, coming back. So once I came back, I think I'm getting ahead of myself, but once I came back and I started DJing at a kite tour, and I DJed for 13 years after I came back, and then it eventually closed down. And someone said, man, look, why you don't go to the Crossroads? The Crossroads was a new club that had just opened up. And Bobby Adams, he said, look, man, go and talk to Alton Gale. He's a Jamaican, He's, he owns the club. He said, go up there a Thursday night or Friday night. So I went up, I spoke with him and he said, look, yeah, I heard about you, Bob. He said, I got a club in the back there, club too. He said, I want you to play in that club. Well, who tell him to say that? I went and I started playing the club. I took all of his patrons from the front of the club, which was club one. All of them start, All of them came into club to the party because they were hearing the music in the front. Till the boss man came to me and he said, Bob, you're stealing all my customers from the front. I said, <laughs> I said, you need to put a good DJ in the front there and then you wouldn't have the customers coming to the back where I'm playing. <laughs> so... That's how it was, man. Every, you know, many people I met, you, you, you know, Richard, Richard and his wife, Janet, uh, he, I met him. Uh, he met me right at the crossroads. He came up to me and he said, uh, what's your name, man? He said, you jamming. I said, Bob the Wiz. So he, he left, he said, man, you jamming. So he left and he came back. He said, I called Squeaks and Squeaks told me that he got a cousin by the name of Bob the Wiz. You know, Linda and Edmondson, my cousin, we call him Squeaks. He said, he told me that y'all are related, you're his cousin. And he said, look, he told him that I just met Bob. And he said, Bob is jamming everybody. He's in Bob. He even lost his wife in the club and that guy was crowded. I said, man, you see your wife standing next to me? Why you come I said, you don't see your wife standing here. Why you come asking me where your wife is? I said, go down and look at the crowd. You know, she got... <laughs> that means you had the crowd. She got lost yeah. in the crowd, man. The crowd was moving. Yeah, the crowd. Oh my goodness, man. <laughs> it, it was standing room only. I'm not exaggerating. Wow. So yeah, I said, man, look, I don't, I said, look, Janet, God, that's her name. I said, she's in the crowd over there, you know. So he left and he went and he found her. But I gave him a CD, you know, and uh from that day on, man, we've been chumps, we've been buddies, you know. So um uh to to to, to put this all in a nutshell, I would rather do nothing else that be playing music. That's my forte, that's what I live for. You know what I mean? And in putting this station together, look, let me tell you, all of my old skills, even though they said, you know, some people say old becomes new, but all of my old skills from back in the days at the radio station and what I learned at WOK, what I learned at Columbia School kind of thing, I blend those two together. And I have masterfully programmed everything on my station, where it is. Sometimes I do my own drops. Sometimes I send off to your nephew in, 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 in LA and he get those drops made for me. It costs me a good penny. It's cost me a good penny, but I like perfection and I'm a professional. So I'm not gonna have, you know, my drop sung like a drunkard just walking out the street and jumping on the mic and announcing stuff. So I, I I do my, I do it myself. Some of them, like I do yours, you and our uh yeah. for the podcast, y'all have Acromas. And then I had it professionally made. I had yeah, I had a drop made for y'all. I think I, I when you came in the last time I played it. So because I want this, to, I want to be professional. And that's as long as I've got a life, I'm gonna continue doing what I'm doing. So anyone that wants to start up in this business of becoming a DJ and then a radio station and then moving into a known radio station. Kudos to them, man. It's 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 a lot of work, okay. Because I'm telling the truth, there's lots of times I want to pack it in because I'm so tired. But I, this is my love, okay. This is my love. Look, the only thing I love better than this is the Bible. But this is my love, to be honest with you. Doing what I'm doing. Sometimes I get up at three o'clock in the morning and I got to program the station to go through until the next evening, you know. So sometimes I do live recordings. As you know, like this right. Saturday, this Saturday I have the call in uh, Best by Request. This Saturday, where it is that you could call in and wish a significant other Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. You're not going to talk to me, but you're going to hear a recording. And the number for that is 346 577 0440. 
anyone wanting to call in or with a significant other Merry Christmas calling on that number, I go into the recording, uplift your message and put it on air. And it is done precisely as you know, it, it is precise. Everything is like clockwork. You know, I would say, well, let me go to the phones and see who I got now sending out Christmas greetings. I already know that it's you, Jamal, or you will see, or Mike or Doug, because I, I already have it programmed as the next person coming in. So then I'll say, when I push it up, I said, I let it play. And then I said, here it is. Merry Christmas from Jamal Gibbons or from Will Seek, the significant other, and so on. But I don't conversate with you because it's recorded. And I love what I'm doing, you know. Yeah, yeah I mean, there there is so much to take in there. Yes. Um, I, <laughs> <laughs> in a good way. Tell me when to stop because Oh, I would go on and on. You got to tell me where to stop. No, 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 no. It's a, it's a good thing. I know thing. there's a lot to unpack. There's a lot to I say, unpack. I say that because I, I want our community to hear all mm -hmm. the things that you had to go through for your passion. Because mm -hmm. a lot of time, especially, especially in our world today, a lot of people, they want the quick stuff, right? They want, they want the fame quickly. They want the money quickly. They want that type of lifestyle to hit immediately. But they yeah. don't understand the struggle that people who have been there and who are still killing it in the game have had to go through to get to that point so oh, you yeah. think about the the issues that you that you had in germany um with the military uh when you came back and and you know you were still trying to get yourself where you needed to be the 12 hour days the grind the waking up at 3 a.m all of those things scream entrepreneur and i think mm -hmm. that type of story needs to be more public for mm -hmm. people to see that okay i am still going through this struggle I'm on year five and I don't have any profit. What do I need to pack it in? Is there something else that I need to switch up and to, in order to get to where I want to be? What mm -hmm. else do I need to do? What type of growth do I need to go through to get to where I am? I love what I do, but it's burning me. But the fact that you still said, I am still doing this, even after all of these years, 50, 40, 50 plus years later, yes, yes, doing the same things that you love because you love those things. And exactly. You life is short life is unpredictable so it's important that we all do the things that we love more we all spend time with the people that we love more we all take the time out to to spread that love and that cheer and grow our communities as you continue to grow the, your listening community we are doing the same so i think it's important that our community hears that they hear about those habits that you've built along the way they hear about the struggles that you've had to go through the successes and the failures that you've had, because we all go through it. I think oh, yeah. to understand more of a perspective, don't you think, Will? Oh, absolutely. Uh, it's, you know, wonderful journey. And we thank you for uh, being able to share this with us, Bob Lewis. But even more so, first and foremost, thank you for your service. Uh, thank you, yeah. you know, for, for the sacrifices you made in your life to be able to make this a privilege for us in so many different ways. So absolutely. I think that needs to be said, first and foremost. Uh, so again, thank you so much. Um, and with that being said as well, and just kind of delving a little more deep into the habit aspect of what you were saying, right. I think for, for the viewship of like everyone that's listening uh, um, to really grasp what that's like, because what I took away from it was uh, what we talk about all the time, where you just apply that 1% each mm -hmm. day and, mm -hmm. and, and, you know, the consistency of what that looks like, because as you said, even when you're not your best, you're still at the game. You're still, mm -hmm. it's your passion. It's, it's what drives you. And I, and I think that's something we work really hard to try to try to, to understand individually and uh, figure out like, what does that take? To, to hold on to for so long. And then even more so, uh, you know, traveling abroad and being elsewhere and facing the diversity of what that looked like in that era and uh, still managing to utilize, you know, what your surroundings look like, focus on your day-to-day -day what that is uh, and still make the time to, to, to discipline yourself, uh, to not lose sight of what matters, you know, for you. Um, so if you had to give any any advice to, 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 to everyone, to us and to everyone that's listening, yeah. um, how how do you manage to make that sustainable? Because I know you adapt with it, as we say, adapt, adjust, evolve. Mm -hmm. But what tips have you used because it's been successful for you and you still have a love for what you do? And that's what's so important. You uh -huh. don't underestimate it. And you always have that energy, You always have that aura about you every time that I've had the pleasure to interact with you. And uh, you have this sense of joy in you for how you, you are in life. 
So how do you manifest that into a reality if you're someone who's looking to be able to do that and channel that energy into what your passions are? That's a great question. I am saying, good question indeed. I'm saying two things, sacrifice and determination. You have to make that sacrifice. As you know, everything in life is not free. A lot of blood, sweat, and tears. If you want to be the best, you got to work hard enough to be the best. You know, nothing is given to you on a silver platter. And as you guys know, you all did college and things of that nature, the study, and just like me, the studies, plus you got a full-time job. So you're the studying late nights. Sometimes you give up, you know, things that are also uh, things that you like to do, things that you like to do a lot. Your hobbies, Sunday you give a certain, some of your hobbies, you know, football, basketball, volleyball, just to make it what is the best for you. And let me tell you, if you can make the sacrifice and if you're not in it fully, if you don't like what you're doing, don't do it. Let me put it that way. You gotta have a love for what you're doing. And if you don't love what you're doing, you're not gonna be happy. You're not gonna be successful because you're only going through the motion. You know what I mean? A lot of people ask, I'm gonna be 72 years old on Tuesday. And a lot of people said to me, man, where you get the energy from? You don't rest with Superman. No, I'm gonna tell you a secret that I have. I pray to the good Lord every day because I'm possessed by God. Let me put it that way. Okay, as Jamal knows, I had a serious accident in 2005 that almost cost my life. And when other people were making funeral arrangements for me, I was determined not to pass away. I was determined not to die. So I had that focus that I'm gonna come onto this on the other side, all right? I had facial fractures, skull fractures, a broken nose. I had, my eyes had popped out. You know, my left eye had popped out. So I'm totally blind in my left eye. Um, got glaucoma in the right eye. So, and still I do what I do. You know what I mean? The point I'm making is that do not give up your dreams. Do, if it is that you want to say, hey, I'm gonna open Wall Street, an office on Wall Street, you can do it. If you say, I'm gonna go to LA and become an actor, you can do it. You just have to have that determination. And for me, to people out there, don't give up on your dreams, okay? Don't, don't short sight yourself. Don't, don't, don't rob yourself of a future because there's a future waiting for you. When one door closes, another one opens, you know? And I'm a very ambitious person when it comes to, I'm gonna tell you, before I get in, let me tell you something. A, a certain yeah. individual, right? Who is a DJ also, he sent me texts sent to him by someone that listens to the radio station. And you know what the person said? I got another friend on another radio station. And the guy sent him a text saying, WRNG is outlasting da 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 da. Because he's playing, he's got good programming going on over there. He's got educational programs. Like I got a program called Panorama. And on that program, I bring American news and COVID news. They're not doing that. I bring the news from Guyana every day, except Monday and Sunday from 12 until 12.30, thereabouts, 12 o'clock Central Time until 12.30 Central Time. So I, I bring a lot of educational programs to the forefront. And as you know, I just started a program, and I said just before the Christmas holidays, called What's On Your Mind, Let's Talk. And you've been on there. Yeah. What's on your mind, let's talk, is what's on your mind, let's talk. What's bothering you? What you dealt, what, what did you deal with early? What did you deal with this week, last year, the year before? Just let me speak out. Let it be a platform for you to speak what you want to speak. So that's what it's called, what's on your mind, let's talk. And that's heard every Thursday from, now I had to, because the program was so popular, I had to make it two hours. It was an wow. hour when I started. But because of us, I get a lot of people involved. So now I have to make it two hours. So it goes like from two to four, you know, so two to four central time. So it's three to five Eastern. So the fact, the, and I I am, like I say, I'm the program director. I'm the owner, you know, so I choose what I want to put on my program. No profanities, 
and try to keep away from the politics. But it's a no profanity radio station, okay? And that's how you want to keep it. I don't I use I don't use profanity, and I don't like people around me using profanity. So I try to keep it straight. But again, I, I know I'm jumping around, but I'm gonna tell you, if you want to become successful, because every individual is a mole, M-O-L-E. Every individual is a human being, is a person. And you are the only one that know your limitations. So follow your dreams, follow your limitations, ask God for guidance, and don't ever doubt yourself that you can't do something. You, Jamal, go to the gym, you lift weights, you can become the best weightlifter. All you gotta do is say, hey, I can do this. There's no quitting in me. You, Mr. Will C, you like to work out, whether it's karate or black belt or whatever you're looking for. Go ahead and say, hey, I'm going to be the best um, karate expert or whatever you want to be. Don't shortchange yourself. And don't let nobody come to you and say, look, ah, you're wasting your time. Don't, don't hang around naysayers, man. Don't mm -hmm. hang around naysayers. Don't hang around people that can bring you down, that people ain't got nothing to offer. OK? Don't hang around people that are not going the distance, that are not going where you're going, right? So you, you put yourself in a situation with people who can uplift you and who you can uplift at the same time. And if it is they don't want to listen, don't waste your time because they'll never get it. If they don't get it in two words, they'll never, they'll never get it. So don't waste your time. Tell, talk to them about the passion, their passion. Talk about what you see in them, if you see the trying, what you see in them and you could help them. And if they don't want to listen, just start being smart mouth, let them go. God, they're going to waste your time. Mm -hmm. Gentlemen, mm -hmm. I bring nothing but honesty to you. I bring nothing but the words that I have been blessed with, okay? And I bring it to your Acromas podcast, to your listeners, and tell them how they can go about life, how they can better themselves, how they could do good. Okay, the Bible says all things are possible. And I know that it is if you believe. You got to believe. And once you believe in yourself, there's nobody that can stop you from achieving your goal or goals, plural. That's absolutely true. Yeah. To go back to that story when you when you did mention um, with the accident, I was, I was there at the hospital. Um, and I know I, I told you this personally, but... Mm -hmm. um, for whatever reason, there was a calmness in me, um, even when I first got the news and, and, and when I saw him. And it wasn't because I thought I was going to lose my father, but it was the fact that I knew that he was going to be okay. Like, it never hit me that he wasn't going to be there. Because as he mentioned, he's like, to me, he's like a superhero. You're, you're my superhero. So thank you. Never, I never had that inkling that he was not going to be here anymore. Um, and I mean, if you saw him, if you were, if you were somebody from the outside seeing him, you would think that was the case. Um, but to hear all of those injuries, to see the car after the accident, to see you after the accident and to see you now from that time period to where you are now, the ability to still formulate sentences, the ability to still walk around to still run around, to still crack jokes, to still dance, to still have the memory, to still have all of that is nothing short of a miracle. Yes. No, all of the things that you have to go through from that point on to where you are now is nothing but a miracle. I agree. The fact that you still have all of those faculties about you, the fact that you can still communicate, the fact that you can still walk, every single last one of those things are miracles because of where you used to be. So when you say never give up on your dreams, when you say always believe in yourself, have determination, know where you're going, all of that is true because life is not only short, but it's unpredictable. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you're knowing that end will come. So as you, as you told me, as you were saying, you know, I, and, and I, re I remember you told me, you know, <laughs> when grandma mentioned, she was like, she can't lose another son. She can't lose, yes. uh, you know, and you, you were saying, you know, man, you're somebody's gonna go somebody's yes. gonna go at some point remember you told me that yes and she was three like months, no, don't say that three months <laughs> let me interject three months yeah. before the accident yeah. i sat on the bed and i told her that yeah i said yeah. ma i said miss gibbons god rest her soul 
I say, you're going to lose another child before you die. Oh, no, not me. I just buried your brother. You know, da, 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 da. I said, I just heard it. So I'm telling you. And three months later, who was it? Me. And when I came to, when I came to, I told her, I said, what did I tell you? I say, see, I almost lost me, but I said it because I'm a child of God. I'm still here. True words. And I, and I said this after you said that. You were reborn at that point. And I agree. That was the next <laughs> stage of you. The old you passed. The new yeah. born new from that position. Because from then to now, you've lived for God. From then to now, you've lived for spirit. You've uplifted people. You've shown nothing but love. You've been appreciative of everything that you have and you count your blessings every single day. So Amen. you were reborn from that day on. I agree with that. I agree with that. Because as you remember, I told you, I went to the bathroom there in the hospital. And when I look in the mirror, I saw what was like a halo around my face. You know, like the halo you see around people, the Jesus' head and around. I, I saw a halo around my face, like a light, but it was a circle. And I was besides myself. I wasn't scared, but it took me aback, you know, because I said, wow. And like I mentioned to you, after that accident, even during, before I, I blacked out and, and I was in a coma or whatever, I never felt a pain. I, the only, but let me recant that because I felt a pain in my right leg at the bottom and the door slammed in on my foot, right? But after that, and I blacked out in the ER, I felt no pain when I woke up. No, you know, a lot of people, when they saw me, they left with the mouth open. It's like they saw Jesus with the, with the, the wounds in his hand, you know, the, the nail. They, 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 they left with the mouth open because they thought it was going to see me in a wheelchair. They thought it was going to see me uh, as a vegetable. Okay. They thought it was going to be pushing, walking with a walker. They thought it was going to be walking with a cane. And lo and behold, it's like they saw Jesus walking on water. I never thought that I would be in a wheelchair or what because I had that faith. I want you got that faith, man. You know, don't mind what happened. You're going to beat the odds. And I felt that I beat the odds back then because there's a God and I believe in him wholeheartedly. But yes, I think I was reborn, to be honest with you. And I told you, Jamal, what I saw walking down that passageway. You remember? When I was walking down that, uh, like walking down a tunnel, and I saw those lights and I saw the, 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 the entrance. It didn't have no door, it didn't have a door on it. What it have is like an open, like, like an open space, right? An open entrance rather. And all this fog emanating from the entrance. And at that time, with all those lights above it, next thing you know, I was stopped dead in my tracks right and I, I i came out of it i i didn't open my eyes i didn't came around but I, I did stop for me what i was seeing you know what i mean and then when i told you the other day about what what happened when i was transfixed transfixed outside at the head of my driveway and all that stuff so I've, I've got a lot of things that occurred from then to now that i get all these visions and things of that nature and you know, when I tell somebody something, they say, please don't say that. You know, you, when you say something, it happens. So sometimes I, I might tell, try to tell a person and then I stop because I don't. Some people say, you call it death on me, man. Don't say that, Bob. So I just, I stop, you know, because honestly, I could just talk. Look, for instance, let me show you something. I pray this morning, I was praying with a certain person, right? In my prayer, I pray like six o'clock in the morning, and I said these two people are backstabbers, or whatever the case may be. Lo and behold, nine o'clock, one of them called me. You know, so <laughs> up to the blue. Okay, you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they heard you. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, you know, and this is a fact. You know, so it, and then the the, the carrying on a long conversation. But the point I'm making is, these other folks got their radio station, but they're trying to bring in the best of what they they try to bring people they think are the best for the station. Other people that are DJs and they're renowned. So they're bringing them in, trying to outdo my station. But if you don't have a format like my station, you could bring in the best of the best, Wolfman Jack, or you could bring him back from the dead and put him on your station. 
KC Kasem put him on your station. And I could go on and on, and it wouldn't make a difference because you don't have a format, mm -hmm. right? So to bring in this other guy who used to come on my station and do a party mix now and then, and all of a sudden he stopped calling, he stopped talking. So I pray for them. And one of them called me this morning. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so, and I just laughed because it reminded me of Judas. I mean, right on the book, bam, they remind me of Judas because they backstabbed me thinking that they're doing me wrong. I don't have the, 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 the quality of, not quantity, but the quality of DJs that they have on their station, right? They were with my station and they branch off and they got their own. So they're trying to outdo me. And But if you don't have a format, if you don't know anything about radio, even I don't want them to work to the radio station. If you don't have a format, I don't care who you bring on, it's still going to sound like crap because you don't have a direction as to where your station going. And that's their problem. You understand me? I hate to be jumping around, but I got to get certain things in before I forget. So the point I'm making is know yourself, know who your friends are, and stick with them. You know, don't let no one try to, as they say in this business, run the gambit on you. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm proud of you guys, man. Kaya, I'll do great work. Y'all are professionals. I'm serious. Cross my heart. Y'all are professionals. I listen to y'all even before I upload y'all to, I told Jamal that, even before I upload y'all to the station, yeah. I listen, if not the whole thing, I listen to part of it on YouTube before I upload it. And I like the conversation. You know, when you got your guests, I listen, I listen attentively to what your guests have to say. So y'all are doing a fantastic job. Don't stop. Don't get burnt out. You might feel like you want to quit. Like I said, so I feel. I said, no, I'm not quitting. I told a certain man, so I'm gonna die doing this. In other words, I'm gonna do this till the day I close my eyes because this is what I like doing. This is my passion, and I see the same passion with you, gentlemen. Y'all like doing this. Y'all got a lot of followers. My, I, I had so far, I have 164,374 listeners to date that have listened to my radio station within that one year for this station, because it was on another station I had, as you know, when I, I moved, I transitioned to this station. Right. 164,374. So you see why my opposition or the people that's on the other station are trying to steal people away from me because I'm catching up with them. They must have got like 197, but they started like six or seven months ahead of me, you know? So here we are. I'm proud of what I'm doing, man. And God gave me the energy and the strength to keep on doing. I don't ask God to let me hit the lottery or let me win money. I always say, Lord, give me strength, wisdom, and knowledge, common sense, dreams, and vision, long life, and spiritual protection. Those three things. And he blesses me with that. Common sense, wisdom, and knowledge, dreams, and vision, wisdom, and knowledge, long life, and spiritual protection. And here I am soon to be 72 years old and still going strong. People say, your voice don't match your age. Is it supposed to? What do you mean my voice don't match my age? <laughs> what does a person my age voice sound like? You know, hey, you, you know, old people sound hey, around you. <laughs> like they got Alzheimer's. No, it's not with me, man. No, oh, I'm blessed. Yeah, you, huh? have joy. you have joy in your heart. You got a passion. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Yeah, That's it's it. It's hard to recognize what that is. Mm -hmm. So a lot of I know, I know. You know, I, I gonna give them the playbook. You know what I mean? I'm gonna give them the playbook. But yeah. I am blessed, man, and I want y'all to get the blessings. Y'all continue you, doing, man. Y'all are doing great. Y'all doing a great job, and don't let no one tell you otherwise. Okay. I know sometimes you. <laughs> well, I know sometimes it's, it's sometimes it can get over. Y'all could become overwhelmed. Right, but don't give up. If it's, if you got a passion for doing this, do it. Cause I like listening to it, and I know a lot of other people like listening to it, and I like to upload it to the station and let other people listen to it. Uh, I let the hundred and sixty-four thousand some other the followers that I have come on and listen to it. You know what I mean? I, I could see the actual numbers of people. I can see the actual numbers of people on a given time that's listening to your your podcast. Because it shows me at the bottom at the station, 30, 35, 20, 25, whatever. You know, so whenever y'all finish, delete the station. 
but not all of them. I might keep about 15 or 20 of them around. But a third or five or so is gone, you know, got your program finished. I might got to ask you how to do a two hour program. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll definitely get to that point next year. We've, oh, yeah. we've got no, a lot. I'm, you know, I'm, we've I'm, got a lot we're doing. I know. I'm proud of y'all. Keep doing what you're doing, man. Honestly. Gentlemen, I appreciate I appreciate having I appreciate being on here. And uh, you know, don't be shy and bringing me back. I always got new ideas yeah. and uh, I look forward to adding to the Act from Us podcast each and every Monday. Again, the hours are from 11 a.m. until 12 central time, 12 until 1 Eastern time. And the station is WRNG FM Power Jam Sat Radio. 24 hours a day, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, and we are heard worldwide. That is worldwide. That is true. I mean, I I couldn't be more proud of you, Dad. I know, I know how much this drains you. I know the hours that you spend getting this radio station up, getting the sets ready, even when you're sleeping, it's still running. Um, so this is a full, this is as full of a as full time of a job as you can possibly get. I agree. It's literally I agree. on every single day, seven days a week, 24 hours a day. And yeah. on on behalf of myself, and I know we'll see oh, as absolutely. well, it is it is a pleasure to have you on. And 2022 is gonna bring a lot of greatness for us. Um, I'm speaking that out there in, in for our community as well as your listening community. Um, mm -hmm. I know the future is bright for both of us. I know the radio station will grow. I know our communities will both grow as well. Amen. At this at this time, I want to thank everyone for joining. Um, whether you're watching on YouTube, whether you're listening on Spotify, on Facebook, on Instagram on TikTok, however you're hearing it, even if you're listening to it on WRNG FM Power Jams Out Radio. We want to thank you for joining us. And before, before we, we let you go, Dad, um, there's one thing I gotta say. Um, besides, besides the fact, you know, of you having, a, you coming on to the Acromas Podcast, you being a part of our community now, um, people who are watching this, of course, the next time our next episode comes out, it would have already it would have already been your birthday. Mm -hmm. So yes. I want to give a special early birthday shout out Absolutely. to none other than DJ Bob the Wiz. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, gentlemen. Birthday <laughs> to you. Happy birthday in, guys. to you. Happy birthday, DJ Bob the Wiz. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. There Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, I like the rendition, man. I like the rendition. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure, I'm gonna make sure I play this rendition on WRNG FM. Uh, Stevie Wonder ain't got nothing on y'all with that birthday. Yeah, uh, I've been trying so, uh, to tell him. <laughs> hey, I, I'm telling you. So I'm gonna I'm make sure that I hit it up. I, I'm gonna make sure I queue it up and hit it up on WRNG once I start back regular programming. Uh, the day after Christmas yep. and yep. Uh, Boxing Day, the day after Boxing Day, rather. So uh, I look, and y'all come back on air on the radio mm -hmm. on Monday, the 27th of December, I must say. And this is the program, this particular recording, rather, this episode will air on, uh, on the 27th. So if some people miss it this Sunday, they can catch up with it the following Monday on WRNG FM Power Jam Sat Radio. You know, so with that said, gentlemen, don't be shy to bring me back. Okay, oh, we, we have uh, back. we'll always have you back. You you will be well, okay now. That's a special okay. guest as always. I, I'm I'm yes. the I'm the I'm the third wheel. So hey, you, know, <laughs> you hey you you are you are. It's, it's like a it's like a wheelbarrow. You know yeah. what I mean? There you go. Y'all are the two back. Y'all are the two back wheels. I'm the front wheel. Trifecta. So, uh, you got a stair <laughs> <laughs> Yes, indeed. Yes, yes, we yes. Depend on you. You have to follow Definitely. You. Absolutely. Definitely. <laughs> Absolutely. And Definitely. I'm, I'm also hopeful that you will join us next week when we do have a holiday special of the Acromas podcast. I'm hoping oh, you uh, definitely to listen, to take part. Of course, I will I will be traveling. I can't say where I'll be, but yes. have a live episode of the Acromas podcast, another special episode similar to like what we did for Thanksgiving, for our community, yeah. for all the communities out there listening, as well as your community who is listening. So um, once again, we want to thank you for coming on, for spending time with us this evening, spending time 
with our community this Sunday. Um, we hope everybody enjoys the holidays, enjoys the Christmas, enjoy the New Year's that's to come. And once again, we want to thank you for being on. Absolutely. Thank you very much, gentlemen. You all have a blessed Sunday. And if it is, is not past football time, you enjoy the game. And uh, I'm not going to say which team I'm rooting for. <laughs> but enjoy the game, and, uh, or, or, or plural games, and yeah. I, I look forward to uh, having you all back in here as soon as possible. All right. Absolutely. Absolutely. God bless. God bless you both. God bless you as well. And until next time, across this community and the community for WRNG FM Power Jams Out Radio, I am Jamal Gibbons. We'll see. I'm Bob DeWiz. There you there go. You go. Yeah.